Who can use one of these cruel sanitizer stations outside their classroom or even in their classroom? I know I could. Avant-garde teacher here. I hope you'll enjoy watching this video and find something you can use. I may not be a pro, but I always find creative ways to work with what I have. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Then join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more of Avant-Garde Teacher. Thanks for watching. This video is rated E for everyone. Okay, let's get started with tools you will need. Now, you will need a Sharpie measuring tape, PVC pipe cutters. However, things that are optional would be the hammer and a drill with the drill, the hole saw and bit adapter. All right, now let's check out our materials. So I'm in Lowe's and they have the PVC pipe, but it's 10 feet long and you'll need the one inch PVC pipe and you'll need a half inch in diameter PVC pipe, 10 feet long. Now here's a pro tip, have them cut the one inch in half, creating two five feet sections, easier to get in your car. And then the half inch in diameter PVC pipe, you wanna cut it at 63 inches and then um, 58, I'm sorry, 62 inches and 58 inches. Do not cut it in half because you're gonna need two 31 uh, inch sections of the half inch diameter PVC pipe. All right, now that we got all the materials, we've done our shopping, we can go home and get started. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is cut all the PVC pipe up in the different links that you need. So here are all the links that you need with the exact PVC pipe and uh, you will be using most of it. You won't have any left over. So try to look at the different links and cut them in the pieces that make more sense. And then of course here you have all your joints that you need. And then this little guy we'll talk about with the sanitizer later. I went to dollar store and got a great deal um, on that clear container, only $1. <laughs> and it worked really well, but that's what I need the drill for. If you have something else, you might not need a drill. You could use an X-Acto knife or a box cutter because the plastic was really thin. You could, you know, carve out a circle real easy. I just used a drill. Okay. Time to get started. Okay, we're gonna make the base. You'll need two one inch in diameter, 18 inch long sections, two one inch in diameter, eight inch long sections, two one inch, 90 degrees outlet elbow joints and two one inch 90 degrees elbow joints. Now this is how you should lay it out because this is how we're going to snap the pieces or push the pieces together. Okay, when you're ready, go ahead and push the pieces together just like this. This is going to be our base. And this is how it should look when you're all done. Make sure that the base lays flat in all areas. And now we're gonna make the front face. Okay, to make the front face, you'll need two one inch diameter, four inches long section, two one inch diameter, two inches long section, two one inch T joints, and then two one inch elbow joints 90 degrees.
Now that we have that all together, we're going to start putting them in place. Now I'm going to lay them out how we're going to put it in place and then we're going to push them together and then we'll add it to our base. All right, let's go. So this is how it's going to look when you put them all together. So I've laid each of the pieces out and then now let's put it, push them into place. This is how it'll look when you push them all into place. Please make sure you push them tight and that they're secure. And then now we're going to add it to the base. And when you add it to the base, this is what it'll look like. I just took the four inch pieces and put those into the outlet elbow joints and pushed them down and made sure that they were squared. And now we're going to move on. For the next part of the front face, you'll need two one inch in diameter, 22 inch long sections. You'll need two one inch in diameter, two inch long sections. You'll need two one inch T-joints, two one inch slip couplers, and two one inch slip plugs. Okay, so we're going to lay out the first part, the T-joints the two inch, um, one inch in diameter sections, and then you have the 22 inch long sections, one inch in diameter. Okay, so this is how we're gonna put them together. We're gonna lay it out how we're gonna put it together. And so now we just need to push them into the T joints. So we're gonna push that two inch piece into that T joint right there. We're gonna push the 22 inch into the bottom of the T joint and this is how it should look. Now I used a hammer to ensure that the two inch long sections were tight inside the T joint. So I put it on the floor and tapped the hammer on it to make sure that it was square and, and in there good and that they both laid flat. Okay, and then we're going to move those and put them into the other T-joints. Now, the container I used to hold the sanitizer, I drilled holes using the hole saw and the bit adapter. Um, two holes on the side and one hole in the lid. With the plug on the inside, I attached the coupler to the outside. So I pushed the coupler... Um, and that slip plug, I put the slip plug on the inside and I push that coupler into the slip plug and that's what's going to hold it in place. Then I'm taking this, I call it a little guy because it kind of looks like a little guy with little arms. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to attach it to um, the two inch PVC pipe at the top of the sanitizer station. To make the little guy, I used a drill. The plastic is very thin on this container from Dollar General, so you don't have to use a drill. If you don't want to drill, try using an X-Acto knife or box cutter to cut the three-fourths diameter circle. Remember, the slip plug goes on the inside after you do um, cut the circle out and the fastener uh, and then fastens to the coupler on the outside. The coupler should not fit through the hole. Isn't the little guy cute? He's going to bring so much joy. <laughs> so now I'll show you what it'll look like when you've attached the container called the little guy to the sanitizer station. All right. So now we have this there and we're almost finished. The final step is the dispensing bar. You'll need two half inch in diameter, 31 inch long sections, two half inch in diameter, 12 and a half inch long sections, and you'll need uh, the four half inch 90 degree elbow joints, and then we're ready. So we're just going to make it into a rectangle with the elbow joints in the corners. And this is, I laid it out. And then 
we're actually going to assemble the bottom and the top piece first. Um, we're not going to put those PVC pipes into those just quite yet. Now we're going to take the two PVC pipes and we're going to slip them down into the one inch PVC pipe. Then we're going to attach the top and the bottom. We're going to make sure it's all lined up. And once we make sure it's all lined up, we're going to test it out. Hmm, why not spray paint it with the school's colors? Hmm, next video. For now, I'm just going to enjoy my work. And they, um, the kids when they come, or even adults, can step on the little bottom piece, the inside bottom piece of the face, the front face, and the sanitizer comes out. Yay! All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.